everyone? Welcome back to another video. Today is Thursday the 14th of April. I realized halfway through the school day I was writing the 13th on all my papers. So that's awkward. I don't have to go back and change all that. But, so obviously being Thursday I had a club meeting today. And if you can't already kind of tell by my voice, I mean I don't know how well some of you can pick up on it, but something kind of happened to kind of put a damper in the mood I was having. I wasn't having like the best day, um, excuse me please kitty, but I wasn't really having all that bad of a day. I just felt weird, like something was going to happen, like something was wrong, and I was right. Um, I guess, basically, just trust your instincts. So, obviously, I've talked about him before, I had a friend named Zach. You've never seen him on this channel, and I thought someday you were going to. But I don't think so anymore. The reason behind that is because Zach messaged me today telling me he couldn't be my friend anymore. There's uh, some reasoning into it. Not a whole lot I understand. Nothing I'm going to tell you as of right now. So I got that message while in sign language club which, if you didn't know already, he is in sign language club, or is supposed to be in sign language club. But, since he wasn't, he obviously texted me, and, he, you know, I kind of assumed, well, I guess he won't be coming to sign language club anymore because I'm there. So I don't know if that's how it's actually going to play out. I know he used to watch these videos. I don't know if he will anymore, but, you know... I mean, I am sad because it always hurts to lose a friend, um, but I know life throws you obstacles and hardships on purpose, and I'm going to try and just mold around that and continue to live my life. I will just numb down um, my emotions and feelings as of now for the next while. So if you are any of my friends and you're watching this, that is why, this is why I might seem different for a little bit. I don't know if I'll be collabing with people for a little bit because I don't know if I'll want to socialize. As of right now, I don't even really want to talk to anybody. But I am talking to my friend Caitlin. You've seen her in my video before. I am talking to her right now, um, to somebody I trust a lot with telling things to her. <sighs> so, you know, hopefully this funk is a funk I can get through easier than last time um, something like this happened with Zach. So, I think the reason why it's so easy to numb what I'm feeling right now is because the reality hasn't hit me. I tend to do that a lot. The reality of something won't hit me for a little bit. And that's why I'm going to take advantage of that and I'm going to numb myself down with my emotions until the reality hits me. I will probably have some big meltdown. And then I will probably go back to being numb for a while and then I'll probably, um, you know, continue on with my life. Yesterday, I uploaded an opinions video and I talked about my little schedule. Since this compromise has kind of come up in my life, I'm not sure how that's going to work out with my current numbed situation. I'll try and figure something out, but since I'm going to be in such a mood like that, why is this so far down? Um, since I'm going to be in this such kind of mood, I probably won't be able to make just day-to-day -day videos like I have been doing because of this state of mind I'm going to be transitioning into. I won't be able to create content that would be uplifting and happy basically at all. So I'm, I'll try to do my best. If anything does happen, I will make the video to tell you. What's kind of sad, I'm pretty sure I've showed my nails already fairly certain. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I did. But the thumb, which was supposed to represent Zach, is now kind of pointless. 
Um, I guess luckily it's already about the weekend, so I can redo my nails this weekend, but it's kind of a sad reminder that he's not with me anymore, and I guess he's taking his leave out of my Red Army friend group. <sighs> it hurts. But like I said, I'm going to numb myself until I can't feel it for a while. And hopefully just live on. I'm going to still be friends with the rest of my Red Army. And since they are friends with him, hopefully things don't get um, broken between me and my other Red Army friends. Hopefully I'll still be able to communicate and talk to them normally and not have to be afraid. I will probably be afraid. I probably will sit with my Red Army friends and I probably won't actually talk. I normally don't talk that much anyway, but definitely not now. <laughs> um, yeah, and a good thing, however, that happened today, how long is this? This is only six minutes. A good thing that happened today is my shirt that I ordered came in. Here, let me grab it. Yay! I guess, normally I plan out my outfits, but I'm probably going to wear this tomorrow, even though I'm not going to wash it first. It's an extra, extra large, because I don't want it to shrink and lose it. But it says, good vibes only. So I guess this is like a sign from whoever is up there above me, whoever you guys believe is up there above me, uh, telling me to just look up and think of the now. What happened yesterday, what happened last year, what happened six years ago, doesn't matter anymore. Don't look ahead because I cannot change what is going to happen. I can't predict what's going to happen. So what I'm going to focus on now is just numbing the me of the present and just hope for the best. And I guess this is kind of a good life lesson for you guys. Think of the now, not before, and not tomorrow. Think of just today. Think of living today. And I'm going to try to do that. Yesterday my video was slightly longer and it took an hour to upload. I don't know why. But I'm going to end off today's video at 7 minutes. Hopefully you guys understand. I really hope you... Um, if you have any questions, please leave a comment down below. I'll try my best to explain anything. If you're my friend and you want to message me, go for it. But if I don't respond immediately or if I'm just obviously not feeling in the mood, please don't take it personally. I'm trying my best not to think about everything that's happening. Because honestly, it kind of feels like I'm going to throw up. But, I mean, well, that's not really all that different, is it? That's going to be for today, guys. Peace out. Bye-bye. Freaking bunny bunny. See you guys in the next one. Bwah.